What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna briefly show you how you can get more potassium in your diet. Potassium deficiencies are through the roof here in the matrix. I believe last time I checked the RDA for potassium for an adult was like 3,500 to 4,700 milligrams. That is very difficult to accomplish, getting that much potassium in your body on a daily basis. With a standard American diet, even with a healthy diet, it's hard to get that much potassium in your system. This idea that, you know, bananas are going to give you uh, enough potassium if you eat one or two of them a day is ludicrous. So again, I don't want to make this a long video. This is going to be really short and to the point. If you want to get more potassium in your system, this is a great way right here. Although there's some questionable ingredients in it, I still use it. This is called no salt. It's a salt alternative. It has potassium chloride in it. Let's see if I can turn this around to show you guys what's in it. I don't use this all the time, but I will use it on occasion. So there you go. You can find this at most supermarkets. You can find this at Walmart. In fact, if you go to any supermarket, pretty much, if you go to the salt section, it should be in that area. Or if you can't find it, try looking at the top of the shelf. Sometimes they put these all the way on the tops of the shelves um, out of the uh, line of sight. So no salt. Cole Robinson, the guy who pioneered the snake diet, talks a lot about this. I'm not sure if he still uses this in the snake juice recipe, but this is great stuff, even though it does have some questionable ingredients in it. I've seen people reverse their potassium deficiencies very rapidly with just using no salt. And something else that I like to do, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm not going to give you a particular recipe in this video. There's plenty of information online on how to do this, is I mix regular salt with potassium chloride from Now Foods, and this is just potassium chloride with some magnesium carbonate in it. So there are certain people that need to be careful with potassium, people who have kidney issues. So because of that, I'm not gonna recommend that you do this. I'm not even going to share my particular recipe um, for my salt infused with potassium. You can go on YouTube, you can go on Google, you can go online and find a recipe to do this. You just mix regular salt with potassium chloride, but you have to have the measurements exact because you do not wanna to add too much potassium. So. I believe I got two tubs of this for maybe $11. It might have been cheaper actually. So I'm gonna show you the back of the label here. Let's see, where does it say? Uh, Caution, for adults only, consult physician if pregnant or nursing, taking any medication, uh, especially those that may affect kidney function or blood potassium levels or have a medical condition, especially heart, kidney, condition or diabetes so certain people who have kidney issues need to stay away from or not necessarily stay away from I can't remember exactly uh, they have to be careful excuse me with supplemental potassium and I don't know the whole story behind that because I do not currently have a kidney issue so you know potassium deficiencies are again through the roof uh, it's amazing how short most people how, uh, excuse me, just had a brain fart, Jesus. It's amazing how deficient people are and it's amazing how um, little minerals and these elements people actually get every day. If you type in information on chromo uh, chronometer or chronometer, if you enter in your daily food intake, most people who do this find out really quickly that they are deficient. They're not getting enough minerals, they're not getting enough vitamins, etc., on a daily basis. So chronometer or chronometer, however the fuck you pronounce it, is a great tool that you can use. You type in the information and it pretty much works out all of the nutritional um, facts for you. So if you were to, for instance, type in a banana, if you put the data in for a banana, it would, it would create a graph pretty much that says how much potassium you've gotten from eating that banana. And then at the end of the day, you can look at all of the bars for your nu nutrient requirements and see if they were filled. And most people, when they do this, they find really quickly that, holy crap, I'm not getting enough food, or I'm not getting enough minerals, I'm not getting enough uh, vitamins, etc. And here's the other thing about um, daily RDAs. Yeah, there's a lot of things on paper that say they have a specific amount of iron or potassium or magnesium, but just because something on paper says that it has a specific amount of magnesium, that doesn't mean that you're getting that exact amount of magnesium. So for instance, to think that every single fucking banana in the matrix has the same amount of potassium, that's ridiculous. 
We know that there's drastic mineral deficiencies, elemental deficiencies, you name it, in the foods that we are eating here in the matrix. So, you know, I don't, I don't like to just rely on food. I do the best to my ability to do that, but I know that even the healthy foods here in the matrix have been spiked. There's crap added to them. The matrix works on overtime to destroy the food. So just because you buy something that's organic or just because you buy something that's grass fed, that doesn't mean that it's in any way, shape or form as healthy as it could be. So mainstream agriculture, the industrial revolution, all the farming that goes on and all the insanity here has rendered even the quote unquote health foods obsolete in my opinion. So we have to work around that and realize that minerals, all of these elements are key to our health. So I absolutely like to use a uh, potassium chloride salt mixture that I make and I'll sprinkle it on my food. Salt is not something in my opinion that should be um, feared. This whole salt is bad for you idea is absolutely ridiculous. It's outdated. Pretty much no one agrees with that anymore, especially people who exercise. You need salt, ladies and gentlemen. You absolutely need healthy sodium. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this one up. And what I mean by healthy sodium is use Celtic sea salt, don't use just refined table salt. So how to get more potassium into your diet? I would first off start off with using a, a food data entry system like chronometer or chronometer, whatever the fuck it's called. See how, just gauge, make it a goal of yours to tomorrow, type in all of the food that you eat. And then at the end of the day, see how many of the nutrients you actually got that you needed. And then I would work from there, but you know, most people, once they type in all their information, they find out really quickly that, wow, I'm deficient, I'm not getting enough. And then no wonder why you feel like shit, you're not getting enough of the RDAs. And even the RDAs are set to an all time low. For instance, I believe the RDA for iodine is like 200, 200 micrograms. Absolutely embarrassing, absolute joke, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much just enough iodine to keep you from getting a goiter. Every single part of your body loves iodine, your major organs, your cells. And 200 micrograms of iodine is not enough. So even if you do succeed in getting your RDAs met on something like chronometer, that doesn't mean you're actually even getting enough for your body to thrive. In my opinion, the matrix has ingeniously designed the RDIs, the RDAs, etc. to, uh, they're, they're put at a limit so that, it, you know, if you fulfill your nutritional needs by the system standards, it's pretty much just enough to keep you a good little slave. It's enough to keep you basically a walking corpse. Our body requires massive amounts of real nutrition. And you're, you know, this idea that for instance, 200 micrograms, I think it's 150 micrograms for women and adult women of iodine a day. That's embarrassing. That's a joke. That is absolutely criminal in my opinion. And to act or to believe that these, these people setting these standards don't know that that's fucked up, that, that's insane. These people are master chemists. They know how the body works. They know how the anatomy works. They know how minerals work. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen, the new world order keeps you enslaved by keeping you mineral and nutrient deficient to a large extent. And I know this personally because I've seen how getting my nutrient reserves up affects my consciousness. I've seen it in multiple clients, family members. If you start giving people magnesium, you start giving them potassium, you start increasing their tissue saturation of these particular constituents and suddenly their mind works better. They can start to see through the insanity. They can start to see they can start to read between the lines. So, anyways, I currently use both of these. I mix this potassium with some table salt, but if you wanna learn how to do that, there's plenty of directions online. Until next time, peace be with you. I wanted to personally thank you for watching my videos and contributing to the growth of my channel. I could not do this without you, and your interest in my content is truly what motivates me and fuels my passion for making these videos and spreading my message. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to remind you that this channel is a free educational tool that is listener supported. And if you would like to donate to my channel and donate to my cause, 
help make my life a little bit easier and help keep the lights on around here, you can do so by checking out the links in the description box below. There's a handful of not only ways to donate to my channel, but I also have links to different websites and different videos of mine, as well as my Amazon store, where you can check out a handful, a plethora of different health-related products that I use and recommend. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for your continued interest in my message and until next time, peace be with you all.